Hello viewers, my name is Kola Ole Kishimo. I'm an education technologist expert and you are on WordPress TV show. On this program, I'll be talking about how to raise a 21st century child. You agree with me that children nowadays are more smarter. Stay with me, I'll be right back. Welcome back viewers, we are still on the show, World Best TV Show. And like I said earlier on, we'll be talking about how to raise our 21st century child. It's so, so, so important at this time to talk about how to raise these children. And before I continue, I would like to just uh, give us a brief introduction to who a 21st century child is. You agree with me that children these days, they are very, very inquisitive in nature. Yes, a lot of our children these days are very, very inquisitive in nature. They want answers to questions. They ask logical questions and they want to know why. Very important. And this is um, a trend, even in the whole worldwide, that children ask much questions these days. So, how do we raise these children? Do you want to shut them down? Do you want to tell them not to ask questions again? Oh, we will not want to do that. So, we want to build a lot of things in them. You know, we want to build critical thinking, we want to build communication competence, we want to build creativity, and also want to build a lot of um, critical thinking, collaboration in them. And when they talk or when they ask questions, we don't want to tell them to keep quiet. How do we raise them? Very important at this time. So on this journey with me, we're going to be talking more about what we can do as parents, as um, caretakers, as individuals, as uncles, sisters, whoever, any stakeholder that have children around them want to talk about or want to learn how to raise these children. So let me go a bit deeper into how to raise a 21st century child. When I will talk about some of um, the very known people that we that have done incredible things they have done great things in the world number one is Bill Gates Bill Gates has um, developed one of the most respected companies in the world and he started you know learning how to do a lot of technology while he was very very young so one of the things that we want to see is how to help these children actually improve their ways of reasoning, their ways of thinking. And one of the ways is introducing them early enough to things that will help them sharpen their brain, their level of creativity, so that they can do something very spectacular. So one of those things is um, coding. Many people will ask me, why should I introduce my child to coding at a very, very early stage? I always ask this question, you know, when you look at um, children of nowadays and you want to tell them about um, mathematics, you know, one of those things, children find it difficult to learn numbers. But when you introduce them to something that they love so much, you know, many children love games. And you introduce them to game, 
not just playing the game, so how to develop the game, how to collaborate with their friends while they are on the internet. It's a very, I know it's a very, very difficult situation to even keep them away from the internet. But you agree with me that uh, research has shown that children learn better when they use technology to learn. And also, research has also shown that most parents even ask their children for advice on technology. I will, yes, I will also agree with that because, uh, you know, sometimes some of our parents cannot even operate um, water. You have to call, hey, come and help me check this, come and help me check that. And you ask yourself, how did they know all of this? You will see a four years old child take the remote control, or even lesser, three years old, two years old, and they know where to turn to their own channel. They know, they will, well, they will take your phone. They know where the games are. They know what to do with your phone, even without telling them what to do. This is a very good sign that your child is a 21st century learner. They are smarter. So what do you need to do? One of those things that you need to do is to be ahead of them. How can you be ahead of your child or your children? Very important. You need to be a learner. You need to be a 21st century learner as well. If you want to teach a 21st century child, you yourself need to be a 21st century learner. So how do you help these children to learn better? It's very important. And one of those things that all is apparent is to be open. When children are asking questions, something that they are not clear about, let's be open. Let's have an open discussion. Let's guide these children. Let's let them know what they need to know and how to guide them into the world of technology. Very important. We cannot be ignorant of what is going on in the world today. But as individuals, as parents, we need to understand how to guide these learners. Let's go a bit more into how to help them to be a better 21st century learner. Sometimes, when we give them tasks, they do something spectacular. They do it in a very different way. They do it in a way that is even beyond our own imagination. In most of these cases, let's look at it and celebrate their little wins. Let's let them know that they can do it. Even sometimes when they feel so tired, when they feel so discouraged doing a particular task, as parents, as individuals, let's love them, let's guide them, let's give them the courage to, uh, to press on, to have that tenacity. That's one of the 21st century skills that they need to learn. Children can give up so easily, but we are there to guide them, to encourage them, to tell them that they can do it. And you will see when they do it, when they go on, when they fail the first time, fail the second time, fail the third time, encourage them to keep trying. And you will see the result at the end of the day. Today, it's, that is one of the way, adaptability, another way. Let them adapt to, to new things, to new technology, to new devices. Let them try out things on their own. Even when they feel not figuring out things on their own, let them try it out. And let's have a little guide on them. Don't let us do everything for them. When we do that, we are not raising a 21st century child. So we need to give children opportunity to learn, to try out new things. 
So one of there are so many ways we can help um, these children. Let's introduce them to new things. One of those things I've said: introduce them to new technology at a very early stage. On this program, I'll be talking about so many ways we can help children to grow in this 21st century. But this is just an introduction to tell us that 21st century learners are smarter and there are lots, a lot of things that we need to know even as parents, as individuals or as stakeholders that are involved in the training of these children. There are a lot of things that we need to know. On this episode, just go on with me. We are going to be learning so much together and uh, we are going to learn how to raise a better, stronger, and an high flyer 21st century learner. So I'll go on a short break now, and when I come back, I'm going to tell you more how to raise a 21st century child. Thank you. Welcome back viewers, we are still on the show, World Best TV Show, How to Raise a 21st Century Child. On this note, um, I want to just round up with this to tell you that children are the future, they are even the present at the moment, and we need to invest more on how to raise them, how to be a better competitor with their counterparts all over the world. And that is what we are doing. And that is why we are here together to learn how to raise these children. So I'm going to end on this note, but before I go, please like, share, and subscribe on this channel. And also turn on your notification button to get more videos from World Best TV Show. I'm still your host, my name is Kolawale Kushimo. Please also follow me on Facebook, Kolawale Kushimo. God bless you, thank you, and have a wonderful day.